What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. And we're back at you with another property tour. This one here is by Stanley Martin. It's called The Jenkins. So this is an Arcola in a Loudoun County community. Before we go into this beautiful home, did you know that there are three recommended home inspections for new construction properties? If you didn't, let's work together to ensure you have the best building experience in Northern Virginia. I specialize in assisting buyers like you throughout the entire new construction process. Best of all, the builder covers my real estate commission, which means you'll have no money out of pocket for my services. I'll be with you through your contract negotiation, design center consultation, three home inspections, final walkthrough, and the signing of your closing paperwork to receive the keys for your new home. To get started, simply click the link in the description below to complete our perfect home questionnaire. Once completed, we'll meet online via Zoom to answer all your questions about buying a new home in Northern Virginia. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this stunning property tour. I'll talk to you soon. They have made some changes to the way they're gonna lay out these units that we'll discuss. The first thing is they're now offering bedroom levels, or bedrooms on these bottom levels with a full bathroom. So give you a little bit more use out of this space if you don't know what to do with this uh, particular level. These are two car garage units that start under the seven. So that's that's nice. Under 700,000. So we just have a powder room in here right now. So they are putting equipping these with full bathrooms. And yeah, so you do get two car garage off to the back here. And you have your, your coat closet there. So let's go upstairs to the main level. One, two, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we're on the main level. So this is the back of the property. So this is a rear loading garage. We're actually gonna talk about their front loading garage product when we get out to the balcony there. And then that's gonna be the front of the home. So the first door we have over here is gonna be our walk-in, our step-in pantry. And then we have our powder room over there. We have a nice space for our dining room table. If you are a dining room table type of person, we know a lot of people are not these days. So you have chairs right by the island. So let's just peek in this powder room right here. All right, so nice size powder room. And then we have this deck. So I do recommend getting the deck if it's not included. You may be thinking to yourself, you know, Abraham, I could probably save a little money on getting the deck installed. That's usually not the case. That's usually not the case. The quality of the deck that the builder can put on is usually more than you would be comfortable spending. So I want to tell you about the, let's get, I want to tell you about the, uh, oh, sorry about that. So those are the front loading garage units, right? So there are two, two models in this uh, development. So front loading and rear loading garage. I personally like front loading garages. Here's why. Front yards on these townhouses are useless, right? Front yards are useless. So you're not really spending much time out there, right? Kicking it with your, your fellow neighbors. So you might as well make some use out of this space. But when you have a rear loading garage, so, so like over here, you see you have a rear loading garage, that rear loading garage removes any possibility of having a yard, any possibility, right? And so look, this is where your, your car goes. No, no backyard. Now you don't have a place to let your dog out. If you have a dog, you don't have a place to put a hammock or put, to have a place to put your feet on the grass, nothing, nothing like that, right? Um, so those are options here. And as you can see, there's plenty of development opportunity, but let's get back to this unit here. So we have a really nice large deck. It's the width of the unit here. So you'll be able to get two stations here. Usually we see 
people put like a grill on one side and then furniture on the other side or vice versa. So that's nice. And just look at the size of these doors here. That lets you know like what type of ceiling height we're dealing with on the interior. All right, so now we have the kitchen. Kitchen does come with a double oven, or this kitchen has a double oven and the microwave over top. Let's see if this microwave vents out. Put your votes in, what do you think? Does it vent out? Or is it one of those recirculating microwaves? Oh, it vents out, there you go, very nice. Get those smells out of here when you're cooking steaks, pork chops, or any other cuisine that comes with a very strong smell. Right, nice island here. All right, let's look and see what we have as far as our view while we're washing dishes. To our left here, we have our guests watching TV. And then to our right, we have our dining guest um, sitting down, right? So we do have a little counter space on the sides of the cooktop here. You can also get yourself some under cabinet lights as well. And now we have your living space. You all know I dislike these fireplaces because they're useless. Also, they mess up like where you put your TV at, um, but they're very popular. They look cool. They don't really have any function other than letting off a little bit of heat uh, and it's like a $10,000 upgrade. I figured, you know, do something else with your $10,000. This is off to the front of the property. This is an in unit, so you are getting more light than you would get from an exterior unit. And at the same time, I like that they have shown you with this model where you're going to put your furniture here, right? All right, so let's get ourselves upstairs. Oh, one more thing. I think this is brilliant. What they did right here is showing you where to put another piece of furniture, particularly this piece of furniture, which usually houses your plateware that is more fancy, right? So that's a great idea because usually this space right here is wasted. All right, let's go up to the bedroom level and see the three bedrooms. One, two, 15, 16. 16 steps up. All right, so to the back, we have the owner's suite. To the front, we have your guest bedrooms, and then we have stairs to the fourth level. Let's start with the owner's suite. We know a lot of you all usually dip out of the videos after you see the owner's suite, so we'll give you what you want. Owner's suite does have a king size bed two nightstands so nice size i love what they did with the wallpaper here right people are not using wallpaper enough you're just not using wallpaper enough people all right this is off to the back of the property so we're going to see that deck right there and we have a walk-in closet here nicely sized Right. We have a double vanity in the bathroom along with a walk-in shower here. Got your tub between, I mean your toilet between your shower and your double vanity. Nice efficient design there. And then we have our washer and dryer. It's a nice utility room. On this side, we have one of the biggest pants, no, the biggest linen closets I've ever seen in a townhome. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen a linen closet that big in, in even single family homes. Then we have our guest bathroom with your single sink. Then we have the two guest bedrooms. So guest bedroom number one is decorated in blue for somebody who likes space. So this is gonna be a full-size bed. We only have a nightstand though. So in the other room, you're gonna see we have um, two nightstands, which means that they have a smaller bed. And so this is off to the front of the property here. That's Elaine Thompson Elementary School, in case you were wondering. I like this little feature here. How do you turn this on? Do you? I don't know how to turn it on. Anyway, 
That's cool. I might have to get one of those for my bed. A little night light. All right, let's see. So we have a double door closet system. Then we have guest bedroom number two. Remember, there's two nightstands over there, so the room is about the same, right? Even though it feels a little na more narrow, right? Is, is narrower a word? I don't think so. All right, S and M, so maybe the initials are S and M. So this is decorated for somebody who likes horses without their unicorn horns, right? Oh, there's the unicorn. I thought that this was a unicorn themed the room. go got some diversity there there we go very nice very nice again some more wallpaper and we have a double door closet system as well so let's go and take a look at the main level i mean not the main level the fourth level right let's count these stairs one two fifteen sixteen seventeen all right, so now we have our fourth level. I'm not sure if there's enough space up here to fit a full bathroom up here or even a powder room. If you were to put an office up here and there is an option to put a powder room up here, I would definitely recommend it because you don't wanna to have to go up and down the stairs whenever you wanna take a potty break. They do have one of these little air conditioning units up here to cool off this space. And now we're on a rooftop deck. You know, rooftop decks, I, I like them in theory. Now, I live in a townhouse in Kingstown. I don't have a rooftop deck, so I don't know if I would or would not use this, but I do know that in theory, these make sense. They're about a $50,000 upgrade, and this is the cheapest square footage you can add to your property at this rate. Now, will you use the unit, use this level? Let me know in the comment section uh, down below. And so that, that is it, that is it. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you're ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Fill out that form and we will schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions. Ryan Homes is building some two over two condos right over there. Once those are ready, we will have those on the channel as well. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.